Tell me, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Well, apparently, murder! Boy, I was sure using mine wrong. You knew this was coming. Prisoner of Azkaban, the game. Will this game be lame? I hope not, because that'd be a shame. But the only way I'm gonna find out is if I pour myself a butterbeer, start up the Muggle game console, and prepare for year three. Because this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the game. No night bus required. We start out on the Hogwarts Express. Blimey. 12 years ago, Sirius Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Wow, what a convenient summary! Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake up Professor Lupin, our new defense against the Dark Arts teacher. But you don't know that yet. So yeah, you have to help Ron look for scabbers. And you wind up at the end of the train fighting Malfoy. It's just a tutorial, but it doesn't treat me like I'm stupid. I like that. Well, look who it is. Potty and the Weasel. Joke's on you. Next year, you'll be a ferret. Which, eh, it's better than being a weasel. Then a Dementor attacks, and you take control of Ron as he drags Harry away from the monster. I'm totally getting my money's worth here. Hey, kids, do you love Harry Potter? Well, how'd you like to drag his unconscious body through all sorts of trouble? By the game! Take this book, Harry. I'm sure it'll help. It has a few pages missing, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them at Hogwarts. Um, I'm not so sure I will. I mean, this is my third year at Hogwarts. Didn't find any the first two times. Did he plant them across the tower during summer break? Dick, move, Lupin. The castle seems unchanged from the last game we played, but there are some improvements. You can pause and save the game anytime. No more finding save points. And you don't have to go to your bed to end the day. And, most notably, you're able to switch between Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And that's great for the most part. Bad thing about that is, when you're casting spells, sometimes they get in the way. And sometimes you get in their way. Sorry. Oh, I have a pumpkin head! Punk? The punk gave me a pumpkin head. Say that three times real fast. Also, as you're making your way through the game, one of the two you're not controlling keeps whining about wanting to leave. And guess which one is the biggest bitch of them all? Can we go now? Come on, let's go. Oh, let's get going, shall we? Do we really have to go to Snape's class now? It's Ron. I'm shocked. I thought for sure it would have been Harry. Each one has skills that the other two can't do. Hermione's the only one who can crawl through small spaces, and for some reason Ron is the only one that can reveal hidden doors. Whoa! Well... That worked. All right, now it's just Harry and Hermione. Just like JK knows it should have been. All right, Hermione, take this and meet me at the Leaky Cauldron, room nine and three quarters. No Alohomora needed, I'll keep the door unlocked. Just like in the last game, you go to classes where the teacher makes you go through obstacle courses. There are a lot more puzzles this time, but hey, there's more characters this time, so that makes sense. You do stuff like get every character to stand on a switch and slide these blocks around to get up to higher platforms. A lot of times you get separated from the others, but don't worry, they magically show up somehow. There is this button that's supposed to call them, but it barely ever works. Yeah, Harry. come here. Hey. Come here, Harry. Come here. One time when I was playing as Hermione, the guys just would not follow me. I don't know what happened, but I had to shut the game off and try again. Silly boys. Thanks for sorting out peeves, by the way. You really know how to cast that Expelliarmus spell. Thanks, Ron. I do my best. You find unique spells for each character, like being able to freeze stuff and turning dragon statues into actual dragons. However, you can only equip two spells at a time, so prepare to pick the wrong ones. A lot of your time is spent looking for potion ingredients, which means you'll be wandering around the school grounds and sometimes you get to ride Buckbeak. Flying seahorses, doxy eggs, toasted dragonfly thoraxes, and fairy wings. Uh, okay, uh, can you repeat the second one again? Speaking of potions, one time in class, a vial explodes, knocking Harry out, and once again, it's Ron to the rescue. 
Bring Potter here. Now. Now I know I give Ron a lot of crap, but the dude can walk in the air and still make footprints. That's like some Jesus stuff. Common enemies in this game include monster books, whatever these tools are supposed to be, and Cornish Pixies. Because, you know, Cornish Pixies were in Prisoner of Azkaban. I tell you one thing, they sure have been working out. Some of the enemies poison you. Luckily, you can find antidotes, but you have to have it equipped to drink it. And I never know which one of my two spells I'm going to need, so I just drink it and then quickly re-equipped my spell. And sometimes, right after I drink it, I'm poisoned again. And here's the thing. You can find four antidotes as Hermione, but you can't give one to Ron. You have to have antidotes for each character. Or, and this is a lot easier, just let them die. Yep, they eventually come back to life. Eventually. Isn't it funny how the killing curse couldn't kill Harry Potter, but these cute little fairies could finish the job? Respond, Harry. Respond. Whoa, did you see that? He just went from being dead to even more dead. Oh, hey, look! It's a Dobby statue! Dobby, come back! You're actually in this game! Look at you! You're in it! Well, not really. Well, Buckbeak's gonna be beheaded, and now Sirius drags Ron into the Whomping Willow. Well, let's go after him! But first, you gotta go through all these enemies. Did Sirius and Ron have to go through all this shit? Or were the enemies like, Have a good day, sirs. So when you finally make it to Sirius, then the story we all know and love folds out very bluntly. As they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon rose and Professor Lupin transformed into a werewolf. Like, that's the first time you hear that Lupin is a werewolf. We're going to use the time turner to go back three hours. Wait, what's that? Uh, Hermione's got a time turner? All right, that's good. You see what I mean? Sirius is being attacked by Dementors. So now, it's Harry's turn to do the dragon. Yeah, see what I'm doing here? I learned it from Ron, the man who can walk on the air. No, but seriously, after that, you get to use your Patronus and finally save Sirius. How can I ever thank Go! Fine! I didn't want to talk to you anyways, Harry! So this game, I can definitely say it plays better than the last two Harry Potter games I played, and uh, it's a lot more faithful to the story. I mean, it leaves stuff out, but I can say it's definitely an improvement in some ways. Now, one important thing that is missing from this game and the Chamber of Secrets game is the invisibility cloak. Like, it's not even mentioned in either game. Did somebody at EA Games lose their family in some freak invisibility cloak accident or something? There was nothing I could do! They were all invisible! It happens. Well, anyways, be sure not to subscribe for old content. Reverse psychology was just bound to show up here at some point, and you're a muggle if you did not see that coming. And since you've been such a great audience, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good.